Hey, what's up, guys? So I was talking today with my buddy D1, who is an extraordinary hip hop artist who happens to be <clears throat> doing a fellowship at Harvard. And uh, he's really good with money. He makes really good decisions. He's a strong Christian, just a really cool guy. And he was, D has a saying that says, the devil can bless you too. And, uh, and I thought that was a great thing to say because it made me think about, uh, you know, we were discussing different artists over time and those who had it all and lost it all, like DMX, you know, who was on top of the world and eventually he died young and had a drug addiction, lost all his money, destroyed complete destruction of uh, most of the wealth of that family legacy. He's very unfortunate. And one of the things I want to warn you guys about is that uh, if you are a person that's in that space or really any space, uh, sometimes people will give you things. Uh, in order to control you. Uh, you might have, uh, let's say, an artist who uh, really wants to be famous, so you get, you get the fame, the weed, the liquor, the money, the women, all that stuff, and sometimes they might be giving you all that just so they can hem you up and lock you down, just so they can blackmail you in case you decide to go pro-black, just so they can make sure they can uh, keep a, a lid on your behavior or your activism or make sure that you keep coming back later on. So be careful who you take your gifts from. And this isn't just true for celebrities and entertainers. This is really true in life. Uh, you know, when you take a gift, uh, look that gift horse in the mouth <laughs> and ask yourself if you really want to connect to the potential problems that can come in case things go bad. That's my two cents. Financial advice from a finance guy. I'm out of here. Hit the thumbs up button. I'll see you soon. Peace.